Hi, I'm Tinny from Mini Bowl Design, and today uh, we've got our snowshoes on. And it isn't because I'm going to go on a recreational snowshoe out in the woods. In Maine, you have to have these a lot of times just to get from point A to point B. Because in two feet of wet snow, nothing moves except snowmobiles and people on snowshoes. And I don't have a snowmobile. So uh, let's take a look. Let me flip the camera here. Okay, when we get up this morning, uh, we had to shovel our way out. We got a, I think we got about 18 inches, but it blew around, so I can't really tell whether I got 18 inches or whether I got two feet. I don't know. I'll have to watch the news tonight and see what they say. I'm trying to get on over these stairs with snowshoes on, which is not easy. Okay. You can see that... Uh, <laughs> pretty brutal now <laughs> the girls are shoveling but they've only gotten right to here so you can see that uh, the reason why I've got snowshoes on I gotta uh, get up over this brick trail up to here where I have a trail broken from this morning and all this just to get out to the factory <laughs> this is a bit of a kind of slide down over thing Yee <laughs> whoa there we go okay now we go out to the factory you can see the bicycle shop is basically buried <sighs> I had to do this this morning and then down there a tree broke off and fell across the driveway, so I had to go down on snowshoes, break trail down there on snowshoes, and then take the chainsaw and see quite a dip down to the. <laughs> Whoa! I had to take the chainsaw and go down and uh, cut the tree down so when they get ready, they can plow my driveway. And this morning I'm out here working on a batch of uh, M2 SB bases. I've got one uh, milled out and I've got nine more I've got to mill now. Whew. Okay. Now, I've got to go mill out those bases and then that's my day. Hopefully, uh, sometime soon they'll come and plow me out because even with four wheel drive I can't uh, get out of here. Uh, in two feet of snow. It's just, it's just too much. I just, it's all icy underneath. I just get stuck. So I'm going to keep the uh, pickup right in the garage until uh, they come and plow me out. And who knows when that'll be. It might be tomorrow. Uh, so anyway, I've got electricity. It went off last night, but it came back on again. It's off for two or three hours. And uh, so I can mix stuff all day. Mm. So i got to get busy. Now this is pretty straightforward. I don't even need to look at it while I'm doing it. Everything is set ahead of time. And all I have to do is I have to start on zero and mill around until I get to 284. I start on zero. I, I have a preset place that I put the part in and mark it, put it exact and lock it in the exact place in the chuck. Then uh, everything else is set, the depth set. Uh, everything set. I just uh, turn on the flood coolant, bring the head down, and start turning. When I get to uh, 284, I stop and it's done. Uh, it's 200, to 10, to 20, to 30, to 40, to 50, to 60, to 70. 80, 284, done. Turn off the flood coolant, unlock it and take it out. And not, you can't really tell too much right now, it's kind of... <laughs> you still can't tell too much. I'll take it over and uh, clean it up. 
Now we'll see what we've got. Yeah. Now you can see all milled out. All done. Eight more to go. <laughs> now when I first started uh, doing this milling with a rotary table, uh, I didn't have a lot of success. Uh, the bits would load up and things would chatter and I had to take really small shallow cuts and it just life wasn't very good. But uh, over time, as I kept doing it, stuck with it, I kept improving the technique and now uh, I can mill the groove in this with a quarter inch, quarter inch cut, 5 sixteenths of an inch deep and without any pre-groove or anything, it's a, it's a blind cut, cutting right into solid metal all the way around and I can do it fairly fast and it's really works great, no big deal. Uh, but uh, it took a while to took a while to perfect this method. This wasn't something that was just given to me. I had to learn it the hard way, and I spoiled a lot of uh, the product. I used to make ten of these blanks, and if I got five of them after I got done milling, I was doing really good. Uh, Finally got so I could do 10 and only mess up maybe 3. Eventually got down so I could usually do it with only messing up maybe 1. And now uh, it's uncommon for me to mess one up. It's a pretty foolproof method. Uh, seems to work fine. And as far as the bits overheating and, and galling and stuff, moving around. <laughs> Number one, when you do this, since your XY isn't going anywhere, lock it down. Make sure it's all locked down so that the table can't move. And I run a little bit of drag on my rotary table so it can't chatter. And I run a lot of coolant. That's probably most of it is running a lot of coolant. And I've got the right bet. Uh, so, uh, really, once the coolant starts flowing here, it's really uh, just a matter of turning things on and moving. Once you learn the right feed speed, and that gets you around to 184, I'm done. All I gotta do is stand here and turn this crank. And I'm really thinking when this rotary table gets a little bit worn, so I'm ready for a new one. I think I'm going to hook this one up and power feed it. Nothing to lose. Uh, I like to experiment with power feed like my uh, other milling machine. Uh, I have the table as power feed. I'm thinking about using something similar to that to power feed this. So I don't have to stand here and turn this crank. Put a micro switch on it so it gets to 283. It shuts it off. And Make them out beautiful. No chatter mark. Life is good. The worst part of the whole thing is cleaning the chuck up before you put the next part in. All kinds of chips you gotta clean them out. Yeah, one all milk. Turn off the coolant, take her out, clean her up. You can see that chuck's pretty nasty. And the parts are pretty nasty, I'll tell you, getting cleaned up. There. Life is good. I got four more left to go and then I'm a free man.
I'm Timmy from Mini Bull Design. Get out and hike, take a friend, enjoy the great outdoors, and more important than anything, try to have some fun today, try to have a really great day. Bye-bye!